God through faith. faith. If you believe, you shall see the glory of God. Amen. How do you go to bed and you tell your wife, your children, good night, tomorrow? What makes you think that tomorrow you will wake up? Hello? Hi. Am I ask your neighbor? What? What makes you believe that tomorrow you will wake up? Faith. It's faith. That's right. So meaning you have some faith in your heart. Oh, yes. You have something in you. Oh, yes. What you have to do is to allow it to grow. And how will it grow? Through the word of God. Amen. Through the word of God. Through the word of God. You better put things together to allow your faith to grow. The more your faith is big, the more you will live a crazy life. Amen. Whatever place you go, people will wonder, mm, how come this man? How come this woman? Why? Because your faith is so big. In another way, you do not live in the flesh. You live as a spiritual man. Everything you speak come to pass. Yeah, Everywhere right. you put your hand, there are good results. Right. Everything you... Oh, you're not hearing me, somebody. Yes, Why? Because your faith is so strong. God said to Abraham, I will make your name great. And I will bless you. I will bless you. I will bless your generation. And when you look at Abraham in these circumstances, Abraham do not have a child. And because he do not have a child, sometimes we do not have what we want to have. We want to make a way to get something that is similar to what we want to have. That's right. Therefore, the wife pushed Abraham, go and take my servant. Then you can have someone that will sustain your, your generation. But that Ishmael was not the promise of son of God. That's right. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yes. But when you have faith, faith is that thing that make you to be waiting upon God Amen. day and night. I wait upon Amen. the Lord. It is so painful, but I still wait upon him. Amen. It is so rejecting, but I still waiting oh, upon yes. him. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yes, sir. I will give you what I promise to you. Amen. And I believe someone, God has promised you something. Oh, yes. And I believe someone has been prophesied before. Oh, and I believe someone has had a dream before. Oh, I want yes. to tell you this morning, your dream will come to pass. Amen. Tell your neighbor it will come to pass. It will come to pass. God is not a man. If he has promised you, it will come to pass. Amen. And none of you will die without seeing the blessing of God. Amen. Wait upon him. Oh, yes. Believe in him. Oh, yes. When you wake up in the morning, uh, enter in your bathroom. Yes. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. You sing and you sing and sing and sing. After singing, you need to memorize the word of God. Amen. You need to know it. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. And Jesus said, man will not live by bread alone. When someone come and tell you, my friend, that deal did not succeed. Laugh and smile at the person. And tell him, no, I will not live by that deal alone. How you not hearing me, somebody? We hear you, sir. Matthew chapter 18 verse 18. Whatsoever you bound in earth Shall will also be bound where? In heaven. in heaven. In another way, whatsoever you release on earth what shall be released where? In, in heaven. heaven. Now you speak to your situation. I command my situation. What? Oh, be released in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And you put action. First Peter chapter 5, verse 9. Resist him. Resist him. Standing firm in the faith. Stand firm in what? In the faith. Stand firm in what? In the faith. Stand firm in... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, continue, continue. Because you know that the family of believers uh -huh. throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. Okay, now verse 10. 
and the God of all grace. The God of all grace. Who called you to his the eternal glory in Christ. He that called you to it is eternal glory. In another way, he that brought you from your dirtiness, he take you out, he wash you and associate you, oh, you know, hear me? and hear you put sir. you closer to him. Yes. Are you hearing me? We hear you, sir. Uh-huh. After you have suffered a little After while, after you have suffered a little while, will Himself restore you? He will do what? Restore you. Uh, come on, come make on. Make you strong. Oh wait, 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 wait. He will do what? Answer restore me. Restore you. Ah? Huh? Restore you. The Lord will restore you. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Oh yes. What again? And make you strong. He will make you strong. Firm. Firm. And steadfast. Ah, oh, you're not hearing me, somebody. We hear you, sir. Where is your faith? Do you see that sometimes, sometimes some, some things are not working? Not because you, you are cursed, because you did not practice, you did not uh, activate your faith. That's right. After you have suffered for a little while. Wow. So in another way, suffering or pain, or whatsoever the enemy used to attack us. Yes, there may be weapon for him to, to afflict us. They can also be weapon for God to make us grow and stand strong in faith. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yes. It is not because in your house there is no bread today, God is not with you. He that gives promise, he will fulfill it. Amen. How strong is your faith? Increase in faith. Tell your neighbor, increase. Increase. I can't hear you. Increase your faith. I can't hear you. Increase in your faith. Through faith, we are even called children of God. Amen. Through faith, we have been justified. That's right. Through faith, only faith, my brothers and sisters. I can pray for you, but if you do not have faith, my prayer, but, oh, wait, wait, either you like it or not, if I touch you, it must work. Glory. But when you believe, and a man of God touch you, oh, my friend, it's like you put 50 and 50 together. Hallelujah. Fire. Amen. You do not have to give up. The enemy have ways to attack us. Verse 9, it says, resist the devil. Resist him. Tell your neighbor, resist. Resist. He may come to you in different ways. Let me tell you, the devil will always come to us in different ways. John 10, 10, he come to kill, to destroy, and to steal. He come in different ways. The way he attack the other pastor is not the way he will attack your pastor. The way he attack your mother is not the way he will attack your father. The way he will attack your neighbor, the devil come in different ways. But the Bible says what? Resist him. When it comes to resistance, it is your choice. It is not about, oh, God, help me. No, no, it is your choice. And remember the Bible says, you will not be tempted above your capacity. So if any temptation comes to your way, you must know that you already have the anointing to overcome that temptation. Oh, yes. And if you fall into the temptation, That's meaning right, you allow it. That's right. Everything is not just the devil. Sometimes we allow it. Oh, yes. We give him the password. Oh, yes. I take the password. My password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8 9, and 10. Some people password is zat, zaka, 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 Okay, this is my password. Come enter my life. Resist him. When you resist the devil, there is glory waiting for you. 
Amen. When you say no to the devil, there is breakthrough waiting for you. Oh, when yes. you say no to the devil, there is a miracle waiting oh, for you. Yes. Resist him. Because he comes with a mission to destroy your faith. And he can use anybody. He can use your father, he can use your mother, he can use your uncle, he can use people you know, people you do not know. But most of the time, he works in our territory. Resist him.